Loose Man. Today's topics are... Is it okay to parent your partner? Are women invisible in their 50s? And should we ditch face-to-face doctor appointments? Today's panel was... Ruth Langsford Gloria Honeyford Colleen Noland and Syra Khan Now with me, Ashley Gardner Today's guest was Ruby Wax So, Syra um, was talking about dancing on ice um, and about it making her feel horny. <laughs> um, <laughs> it, was, it was so funny. Um, then she realised um, that she needs to do more of the little things with her husband, like holding hands and stuff like that. Um, and then they moved on to talk about a French author uh, has said that he can't see himself being with a 50 year old because they are invisible to him. He just likes a younger body, a younger person, despite him being 50 anyway. Um, so like Colleen said, he basically wants a carer. Um, and Gloria said that he'd be missing out on the experience bef- because obviously older people have more experience. Um, and Colleen was was saying that she feels invisible sometimes. But to be honest, I think a lot of people do. You don't have to be 50 to feel invisible. Um, because... I'm 25 now and I feel like that a lot and Colleen said that she would love to go out with someone younger um, but not someone younger than her son who's 30. (laughs) Um, After that they talked about um, the NHS. Uh, They are looking um, to use Skype as a way to do consultations with doctors and apparently it's going to save billions of pounds um so is this a good thing to do or is it a step too far gloria thinks from a gp level it will work um but like for the older generation it won't work at all and for the people that don't use social media and doesn't know how to use a computer let alone skype um, but I do think it's a really, really good idea for, like, long-term, if you've got, like, a long-term illness or something like that, um, and you don't mind doing it over Skype, then I don't see a problem with it. But I don't think it should be forced on someone to do it. Um, it's up, it should be up to the person itself, whether they want to see someone in person or no. It should be an option for Skyping. Um, so let us know what you think on on that topic. Um, and because it was their is their twentieth year this year, twentieth birthday, they showed some moments with Andrea and Colleen in, um, and like they said, they they thanked the viewers uh, because without the viewers, they wouldn't have a a, a show. And then, without them, I wouldn't be doing this. Um, So, yeah. I want to thank them as well. Um, I really, really loved the song they played. It did make me tear up a little bit, to be honest. um, Because I've watched it for so long. And I've seen them all. Um, Like I said, I love that song. Thank you for being a friend. They... They play that song a lot, and I really, really love that song. Um, 
so next up they talked about uh loose life hacks for an easier life um i didn't have done at all so <laughs> i won't won't talk about it but because of jamie oliver setting an alarm at 5 a.m 5 a.m and going to bed at 10 p.m that's what they're talking about it um and ruth revealed something she does every night before she goes to bed she puts a tea bag in a cup the night before saves doing it in the morning <laughs> Um, and also her wardrobe is colour coordinated. Um, everyone on the panel thought it was weird. Um, one lady in the, in the audience said that she does it as well. Um, so yeah, that was a quite a, quite a funny topic that was. Um, and then they shown a clip from last night's Coronation Street where Kurt. And Chesney mentioned Loose Women and how Kirk fancies Janet Street Porter. And Chesney turned around and said she'd eat him alive. That was, that was funny. But it's true, she would eat him alive. Twice over. Um, so today's guest was uh, Ruby Wax. She came on to talk about her new book, How to Be Human, which is out now. Um, I loved the jacket. She gave a guide to be to a happier 2019. She talked about why she doesn't make New Year's resolutions um, and about techno technology growing too fast. Um, she also talked about meeting Donald Trump, who she met. For the next year, she will be doing a tour well, with her book. And she is in Leicester Square in June. So if you're go if you're around, go and see her. She is such a funny lady, and such a character. She's brilliant. Um. So, the last topic is about someone I don't like, Wayne Rooney. Um. He is in the doghouse because of. Um, his drunken antics again. So, is it ever okay to treat your partner like a child? Um, well, he is a bloody child, isn't he? I don't like him one bit. He has kids, for God's sake. He needs to grow the hell up and stop pissing around. Um, apparently he's not allowed out without, uh, without her supervision, which is just hilarious. That's not a marriage. Um... It's his life. Let him fuck it up however however way he wants. Sorry for my swearing. Um, so, yeah, that is today's Loose Man.